Today we're going to talk about money. We just figured out how much it costs to fly across versus drive across, and it's shocking. It's much cheaper to fly. <laughs> I don't see a lot of general aviation people talking about the actual cost of what it is that we do. So I figured I'd jump on here and talk about how much it costs to fly across the country. A little bit of background for those who don't know me. Hello, my name is Carly. This is my 1967 172H. I just flew this plane from the West Coast to the East Coast. So we are now in my hangar on the East Coast, which is crazy. I've owned this plane since 2020. I am a CFI, CFII, CSIP engineer, crazy girl, but I just moved across the country kind of a year ago now, but I just barely moved my plane across the country. For reference, I drove across the country a year ago and I flew across the country a couple months ago. So I have a couple numbers we're comparing. If you haven't seen all the videos on flying across the country or what I packed to fly across the country, definitely check those out for some more context. But let's talk about my road trip across the country first. One year ago, Jesse and I left California on Christmas day. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas and welcome to day one of the actual West Coast to East Coast road trip. We went from San Luis Obispo to Springdale, Utah. We stayed there two nights for free. We have a family house there. The next day we left there, drove to a bunch of places. We went to Horseshoe Bend. We ended up staying that night in Texas. Well, we're in four corners. <laughs> Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. Jesse's in all of them. The next day, we went to Nashville. So another full driving day. Stayed two nights there, and then from there we drove home. So it was a longer trip than my three day flying across, and then we obviously ate every single meal out. That trip was just under $2,000, which did cost less than a moving van or a moving company, which is why we drove across. That is also a video that is live on this channel if you wanted to check that out. I departed San Luis Obispo, California, and went to Apple Valley, also in California. We are one leg in. We are in Apple Valley. We just got 15 gallons of gas. And spent $83.66. Stop two was Echo 60. Eloy, 585. I got 21.2 gallons. I spent $124.02. Third stop, Pecos, Texas, 605. I got 27.5 gallons. And that was $166.37. That was the last stop of the day. We stayed at a hotel. It was like Econo something. It was a truck stop. <laughs> it was $127, oh, $125 a night. We also ate there and that was like 20 bucks total. Day two, we departed Texas. Guest was 520 there. We got 18 gallons. That was $93.60. Next stop, I got 25 gallons of gas. $5 a gallon. Ken paid cash. We tipped like 20 bucks, and so that ended up being 140. We departed Louisiana, flew to Alabama. We stayed that night in a hotel. That was like a Marriott or something. That was $160. Dinner for two people was $43 and a $11.99 Uber to get there and then back to the airport. We got gas that morning in Shelby County, Alabama. Got 22.2 .2 gallons, $4.95 a gallon. Total was 109.89. Then we went to Habersham and got 14 and a half gallons at 5.35. We only spent $77.58. Last stop, Danville, Virginia. Gas was 5.85. We got 16.9 gallons. That was $103.27. If you haven't been keeping track, because I have not been keeping track, the total for gas alone, ready for this, was $898.39. It was 160.6 gallons total. Housing and food total was $385. In total, flying from California to New Jersey in my airplane was $1,283.39. 1200 bucks. Contrasting just under $2,000 to drive across the country versus 1200 to fly across is crazy. A lot of people don't talk about the cost of aviation. I was lucky enough to find this plane pre-crazy COVID prices. So I bought this plane cash, which is insane. I could not buy this plane cash anymore. So for me to operate this plane is just price of fuel. I know people like to talk about fuel prices a lot, but even if av gas costs $6, I'm only burning seven-ish gallons an hour. Plan eight, it's never eight. It's always a lot less than that. It's a pretty economic bird, which is really nice. But I just wanted to jump on here and talk about how much it costs to fly across and what the actual price of operation is for a plane like this. Because a lot of people don't talk about this stuff. I think it's very interesting to get the rundown of how much it does cost because it's shocking. 
Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you have not checked out the other videos in this series, please do so. It was a lot of fun flying across. I had a lot of fun filming all of this content for you and getting it out. It's nearly spring, so more aviation content coming your way. But if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It really helps out my channel and really excited to have you here. See you in the next one. How can the girl be so nervous to talk in her hangar by herself? This is stressful.